we get um, Mazi Vitalis um, Washindu, Washindu we'll yes, be seeing the lecturer for history for inside um, university. We be seeing people who they call Mahadum. Uh -huh. So, um, Ingo can tell us matter for uh, explain to us. What you make it day important? Make we people return our artifact. Them. Good morning, Mr. Vitalis. Did you hear us? Good morning. Are they here now? Good, Good morning. morning, Nigeria. Okay, so um, Oyibo people now, you know, say government don't enter talk with Oyibo, make it be say then return some of these artifacts that we be say then collect. So it be part of our history for inside Africa and Nigeria particularly. Um, how you see this matter? First of all, make we ask say, why is it important make this artifact then return back to base? Um, thank you very much. One thing where we suppose understand be say those artifacts. Uh, they be part of our material culture. Yeah. All those things are part of our civilization. So any community, any nation, we no get culture, either material, tangible or intangible culture or heritage, no suppose they exist. So those things now waiting make us na part of our history, na part of our livelihood. Now all those things where we can use interpret how our people come to stay. Now, all those material cultures, all those artifacts, now them go give us how civilization take be. And now them go also shape us, make we know how we could keep plan for the future. So take for instance, the North culture, where we say, if they explain what I will call um, uh, iron works, you know, for Nigeria, mm. how iron, you know, making of iron started in Nigeria. Okay, take for instance, some other cultures like uh, Ibuku artifacts. Those things, if you interpret some of those findings, some of those things where they come up from the ground, all those things, they have to interpret, they have to explain, you know, um, kinship groupings in Igbo land. They have to in, in, interpret or explain intergroup relations. They also explain our warfare in the past, our economy, our culture, our festivals. So in a society whereby those things no day, that society no get any plan. So those things, they are, they are more than materials, you know. They are part of our livelihood. And the, the quest to return them is a very good one because it will form part of our national heritage and it will also shape our future plans. So to return them, huh, now I think government is supposed to do, and I thank God for the government, especially the... Uh, uh, go government of uh, Edo State and the OBA, yeah. and even the uh, Ministry of Culture and Tourism, everything within they do on those things because they are part of our civilization. All right, uh, Mazen Washington, the question we don't already hear this thing before. Um, Germany, of course, um, you know, been there already won't start those moves. I know the UK won't return, but Germany been there a bit. Uh, then yeah, they're not, they're not too strong about to return those things to Nigeria for a reason. Um, then they fear about the safety. People talk, say, what's in concern you, not your own, bring them. But as a country, they so. Uh, when we know, say, we know they're very thorough yeah. on certain things. Your mind's strong. Say, if they return, that goes into return, but say they return those things, we go fi keep them. Say they return those things, we don't go see them for a house of one political juggernaut. Or a person no not go even come, talk, say, now my grandpapa, grandpapa, now he get them. Yeah. How you take see the matter? Yeah. One thing we say, uh, the government of Germany, them they write for that uh, kind of idea. Mm. Uh, because for this Obodo Nigeria, anybody can even claim any national heritage. Okay. Uh -huh. I know go they surprise say person go even they claim say nine get a or say nine get a central bank. Uh -huh. So but this should be say we no go because of that thing, say those artifacts no go return. What thing the people would do us na robbery. Uh, what we they call them at um, at theft or what what we call uh, at terrorism. Mm. Although that one not they peculiar to Africa or Nigeria because over time people they steal a uh, work of art and artifacts. Uh, yes. If you take for instance in 1911, one Italian guy Vincenzo Peraguzia, he go go steal one of the best art um, artwork for, for the world Mona Lisa. Carry him from where he from Zion for for France. Go back Italy. On to say, say na in country person do am, mm. you know, be uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So over time, people they still work of art, but the fact remains that 
We don't go because of all these things, say, may they not return them. One thing we will go the plan, we say, yes, as they don't accept, say, they go return them, as some of the government uh, Europe don't they talk, say, I beg, oh, you know, say, waiting, waiting we do now at terrorism, I beg, we want to return them. What we go the plan now, we say, how do we integrate, how do we and, um, institute this artifacts? Waiting will be the benefit of this artifacts. How do we build more museums? How do we integrate these artifacts where they go return into our curriculum for primary, secondary, and university level? Mm. So that we go use them and they teach our history. So that we go use them and they teach our heritage. So that we go use them and they teach our, you know, our culture. You know, especially those things where we say we don't they forget because through the interpretation of these uh, uh, material cultures, we go learn our past. So this should be say make them return them, but before they go return them, there should be more of orientation. You know how to say that because for here for this country we know the two get maintenance culture actually if we know if we know plan how we go take keep these things uh, we feel lose them all so God God bless you for that way you talk now. Go bring them back I like what you we talk. suppose build places where they go put them and build adequate security yes we go make sure say this thing day for safe hand go maybe tomorrow you. person go say ah you don't be me so so we suppose build where we go keep them mm. either a, a kind of national museum or uh, palaces, you know. Okay. Uh, where okay. We, we, okay. We, we, make I enter. Make I enter here. I like what you talk about planning because not be just to build a physical structure. I mean, as a student, and now of course a lecturer of history. Um, when I'm in the travel, when I travel go Delta, eh? Um, then be show me King Nana. I mean, a chief Nana Palace, or rather in household where we say um, not supposed to be tourist attraction. I don't go like giving my heart break on top of the matter. What we call here be say they never develop them because Edo states and Delta states they quarrel as for who really gets um, those chief nana matter. If you go there, you go see in the dining table, all the thing when you take carry chop, everything they there put together. So because of that, development not really too day as it be. You you feel say if these things enter, you see that problem happening. You no know, say states don't break up over time. You know you feel say we go see that kind of problem between states. People clearly say it's supposed to be our state museum. That was saying, go there, our state museum. Because never say issues of history, we never really to attack them, never really to deal with them over time in Nigeria. What do you think? Yeah, that one day, that one day, I, I don't say if that thing enter, mm. uh -huh, you suppose even notice, say, even before that uh, meeting where uh, Minister of Culture and Tourism yes. and some other people go for Germany over the returning of artifacts. Before then, small, small brigade on the day between where the Bini the Atfas go there, between the Oba, uh, Oba Palace or Oba Institution and mm. uh, the state the government. government. This one now within, now within a door, yes. say, yeah. say, if you can't carry and can't join body for two states, that one will bring too much a uh, problem. But what the top we say is beyond states at this thing, the national heritage. In fact, it interprets African past. So what the top we say, it, there should be a kind of um, uh, relationship between the Federal Minister of Culture and Tourism and the various state ministries of culture and uh, tourism. Mm. To not say, even if these artifacts, no even day for the particular place where they take up, the most important thing is say they don't come back and we go they use and teach our children, say this is waiting happening. The location no go too matter. We no go no we know the two drag where the thing go there for now. The most important thing is say, how do we get them back to Africa? How do we get them back to Nigeria? So that it go form part of our culture. Because this is not culture where they say they stay from us. We they try to bring them back. Once in the enter Nigeria, when we are in good day, no supposed to be waiting to divide us. Okay. Because they use them as saying that this thing is waiting to unite us. So the location is not supposed to be problem. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, by politicization of issues, they bring that kind of thing. Uh, Where okay. the fact no good day, no supposed to be problem. Okay, um, I, I like what you talk about teaching our children from not primary to secondary and all of that. But you, I remember, I said the last time we check, eh, we've been getting problem of history inside our curriculum then for schools. You see history being reinstated into all our curriculum from the primary level to the university level. I know say you build a pata pata for history matter for university. So if you don't understand, say right now, primary and secondary school, they need to study history the way they're supposed to study them again. That's one. And secondly, um, the way we they do our things for uh, this country, you feel say, um, if not some countries, then with these things they return and they're supposed to use and form better tourist attraction. We be say, that's this artifact that's supposed to form better reason we be say, could they bring drag people into the country? You see us 
being able to, you know, manage them in a way we be so we use and draw better tourist attraction to the country and also use them to develop our history studies where we for we schools them. Uh, let me let me start from the first question about the uh, study of history in Nigeria. Mm. See, uh, any country when we, we know the study in history, uh, that country uh, you don't they enter another level low. So now through history we go know what's happened for the past. Now through history we go know what they do currently, and now through history we go know what we go feel do tomorrow. Because history teaches the past, the present, and the future. So it's beyond say uh, we just enter. They tell you about Mongo Park. All those no. With the talk of cultural history, with the talk of environmental history, with the talk of military history. So with the knowledge of history, we go feel make future plans. We go benefit this country. So uh, I think for Nigeria. Government should even make them say, especially for our universities, history should be a general course, especially mm. the history of Nigeria. Everybody's supposed to learn them mm. that one day. Because if you don't know your history, I don't know how you go be interact with others. So, so history should be a general course, especially in Nigeria. Then the second one based on uh, using those uh, artifacts as a kind of uh, tourist attraction. Yes, now. Because if you look at a country like Israel now, you know, most of the revenue within they get in a two tourists. So countries now don't they express say ah oil and some other um, what's now um, uh, that is a other resources. mineral resources. Mm. Sometimes these things they finish. Uh -huh. Some of these mineral resources sometimes then they finish. But if you build a robust uh, you know heritage, we be say we could be like say um, artifact like this, you know, collection of artifacts, build them, make the thing be heritage, build robust museum. I think we attract people from every part of the world to come see ah, this thing that waiting people don't do over time. Okay, look at the book art. All those things, they, they don't date them like say uh, 9th century AD. So and you look at uh, not not culture, the one way there for you, the one way there for Opa or Akiko side, even the one where they discover for our university, for University of Nigeria, you know, the poetry. So some of those things, they don't date more than 1,000, 2,000. Most of them, you know, they even date millions of years. So all those things, eh, if you bring them together, build a kind of tourist attraction, people will come to see them, you know, to snap pictures, to relax, and by then, the country or the state where those things be, will they get some small revenue.